this dance. and then it's an editing channel, and now I'm gonna post some Sims along with my edits. Basically, I got a brand new computer, which you could probably hear her. Her name is Ela, and I adore her. But I got a new computer, and I was curious to see how it would run The Sims. Uh, turns out, I my life has been completely changed, and it will never, ever be the same. Uh, so I wanted to play a Sims Legacy Challenge with you guys here on my YouTube channel. Even if these videos don't get many views, I'm still going to be posting them, I think, until I get bored of this challenge or whatever, because I want to play The Sims on my channel, and I really want to play The Sims on this brand new computer. Uh, and I, uh, so here we are. I have spent a long time working on this com um, series. I have set stuff up. Custom content has been a blast to look through. Um, and I also have a lot of mods in my game that I've never had before. Hence, I have a lighting mod and it's not currently working and I don't know how to get it to work again. So if any of you know how to get a lighting mod to work, please tell me because I don't know how to get it to work again. So uh, without further ado, I guess we'll introduce our sim. So this is our sim, Abitha Washington. Um, I've never played The Sims with face cam before, so I don't exactly know what to do for this type of like talking to you guys. But her name is Abitha Washington. I'm sorry if the actual Sims content looks a little funky. Like I said, this is a brand new computer, so I don't have my recording software right or anything like that. Um, but yeah, her name is Abitha Washington. She is actually a descendant of George Washington. Um, and oh, right. What are we playing? What legacy challenge are we playing? Are we doing a leprosy? No. Are we doing a uh, legacy legacy challenge? No. What we're doing is The Sims 3 Decades! Yeah! <laughs> so let me real quickly pull up the rules and I will put them on the screen and uh, we can talk about the rules before I get into who she is because I think that's a very important part of the thing. I haven't filmed The Sims video in so long, okay? You have to give me a second to get used to this, alright? I need a second, or more than a second. Alright, so the basics of this challenge is just we're going through the decades. Now, obviously, one Sim would live through more of these decades, like a real person lived through three of these decades, or all, uh, all of these decades, you know what I mean? So, obviously, we're just gonna do it like a lot longer than a decade, but it's called the Sims 3 Decades Challenge. So decade number one, or generation number one, is the Roaring Twenties, hence Roaring Heights. Um, it says, your family is old money, and now that money is yours. Live it up. What could possibly go wrong? We need to have a YA founder, could be a girl or a boy. We must work as a painter, or if a male, we go into the business career, but we're a female, so we don't have to worry about that one. I mean, we have to paint, but okay, whatever. Uh, we have to have the artistic and party animal traits, along with the technophobe trait, because technology didn't, like, exist, right? Uh, we begin with 50,000 simoleons and a nice decade-appropriate house. I don't exactly know if this house is a decade-appropriate because it's just one that was already in the world, but I'm hoping it is because it's based on the Roaring Twenties, or that's what this is, so yeah, the 1920s. Uh, we have to throw a party once a week, we have to meet a spouse and marry, and we must try for a baby each time we woohoo. Now, I have in Rass Woohooer. So I'm actually going to use the risky woohoo option because it's just more realistic than to try for a baby every single time we woohoo. I mean like risky woohoo, I'll bump it up to like 50% so we have like a, a few percent chance of getting pregnant. But yeah, 
And then, uh, but I'm still going to use Risky Woohoo because I think it's more realistic. And then we need to have at least one affair. Um, and at the end of this generation, the Great Depression hits. So as soon as we get ready to move on to Gen 2, we lose absolutely everything. And I'm very excited for Generation 2, but also, I mean this is Generation 1. We're starting out. We're going to have a fun time with it. So, let me read you guys Abatha's thing, and then we can actually get into her trays and stuff like that, because we probably should do that, shouldn't we? So, <clears throat> Abatha Washington, a descendant of George Washington, is rolling in cash and has no idea how to spend it, especially in the booming 1920s. After growing up as an only child, a unique occurrence for this time era, she took her family's fortune and moved to Warren Heights, hoping to meet and befriend many of the famous families that lived there. Without a clue what, what to do, without a man in her life, Abatha spends her day painting and planning out her weekly parties before going out on the town. That's her short little, uh description and stuff like that. I am also going to do a plum tree for this family, so if you would like to go and uh, look at that right now, it's just one simp, but it's linked in the description box. Anyway, so now that we did that, let's actually, actually talk about this sim. So, like I said, her name is Abatha, and her traits are a technophobe, perfectionist, party animal, snob, and artistic. I wanted to give her traits that kind of made her seem like she grew up with money. Uh, I'm having her to be the descendant, like, way descendant, descendant of uh, George Washington, because I thought that would be fun, and also Washington was a very popular last name, if you trust the internet, back in the 1920s, so I kind of thought that would be fun to play with, a descendant of Washington. Um, and these are her favorites, Seafoam, Lobster Thormador, Classical, I'm trying to make it like seem snazzy, fancy, um, and she is a Gemini, and I wanted her to be a writer, and then I remembered, we can't use computers, and I looked for a computer that was actually in the shape of a typewriter, but I could not get past Adfly. I couldn't. I couldn't figure out how to get to the actual download page, so um, she's no longer an author. She wants to be super popular, which is to have 20 friends. So I'm going to try and complete each of her lifetime aspirations. Um, I think that would be a great thing to do, and just adds a little bit more challenge. So 20 friends, holy bejesus, that is a lot of friends. So this is actually our house. Um, is this decade appropriate? And depends where you're from, you know what I mean? But yes, this is our house. It isn't super decorated because honestly, I could care less. Three bedroom, four bedroom house, which is not something that was popular back then. But this is actually Abatha's room. It's very simplistic. I very much so used a picture and I just kind of like tried to match stuff. So it's very simplistic, but I mean like rooms back then didn't have this. This did not exist. Oh, you like the, you guys actually can't see the pillow. I was like, you guys like the pillow in the background, but you can't see it. Um, so yeah, this is her room. It's going to be her future hubby's room too. Uh, and then I was like, four bathrooms on the upstairs floor is not something that happened in the 1920s. Uh, that's not something that happens nowadays unless you live in a really, really, really expensive house. So there's just two bathrooms that might be too many. I might have to get rid of this one, but they're just closets now. Um, and then downstairs, this is what it looks like. Uh, living room. It has a fireplace in it. Uh, this, I saw this kitchen picture and it had like a little stool by the sink. And so I was like, mm, Sure, we can have that. So that's the kitchen. I did not change that. Uh, look, another bathroom. Here's the dining room. I know, very special. It's EA made. Um, and then this is the only room I really like redid. There was a desk, but no computer. There is her art easel because she has to paint. And then this tea set, which I did not know I had, but I do. So of course, we're gonna have them drink tea, uh, and uh, yeah, she's also got a pool, so we can have some banger parties back here. So yeah, that's the sim, that's her home, and well, I guess it's easy to say that it's time to, uh, I just put in rest on together, so yeah. She wants to go check out a new object. What do we do, how do you start 
Sims Let's Plays. Like, how do you start this again? It's been so, so long. But I'm so excited to use Ela. That's my computer. I'm so excited to use Ela and uh, play and all that. Oh my gosh, he's gonna paint. Perfect. You can do exactly that. I'm just so excited to play the Sims. And I mean, like, look at this beauty. Ugh. I cannot describe how unbelievable that is that my computer can play The Sims so good, knock on wood, um, because like, I simply cannot believe it. Anyway, so yeah, she's just gonna paint, I guess, until we actually have to take care of her. The first day in The Sims is always so boring, because like, hello, they have nothing to do. Girl, you look so good. Mm, Janet Tomon, Tomons, okay, let me scoot closer, this monitor is way too big, I can't read any of these names, uh, Henry Simovich, I'm just saying, I think Miss Janet is going to be our bestie, because uh, she's the first girl I met, and she also looks super cute, so, alright, three Simoleons, great, oh, Henry, boy, okay, okay, <laughs> I'm very, uh, hyper. Very hyper. It was my birthday week. I have had a lot of sugar. Okay, but let's see. Mmm. Now, look, dude. You, if you're still alive by the time we have an affair, we'll go for it. But, uh, we ain't going for you right off the bat. Because, jeez, you kind of look ugly. Why did you walk all the way out here to meet her? Oh, sweet Helen. Helen, the Sims team gave you those ponytails on purpose? They did you dirty. They did you dirty. Everything's so tiny on this monitor. I can't see what I'm clicking. Um, alright. But let's just get to know Janet a little bit. I don't know how to make friends without the university. <laughs> I don't know how to make friends without university. Okay? I'm sorry. I don't. Ooh. Uh, become friends with someone? Join the painter career. That's a self-employed career, but we can certainly do it. Oh! Their signs are compatible. Well, ooh, impersonates the up. Oh, she doesn't like my snobby interactions. Fine, Janet. You can't. You can't trust me for who you can't be my friends for who I am. And that said something about Janet, but I missed it. Let's become. Yay! First friend out of twenty. Beautiful, beautiful. This man. Look at him. <laughs> Just come into our house and use our tea set. How about ya? Alright. Get up off the thing, Hen. We want to talk to you. Uh, this is about your new house. Tell a funny story. This old, old man. Oh, crap! She really does need to pee! I'm over here like, no, you can hold it. But uh, apparently she cannot. Oh my god! It's already 9.41 at night? Jeez! Okay. Oh my god! Dude, I forgot to put a mod in my game where you have to have stuff to eat! Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Alright, looks like we're going out on the first night. Um, Let's just go eat here at this diner. Because I completely, completely forgot that I have to actually have the stuff to make it. Ugh! I got that mod for the next gen. I got a lot of mods and uh, CC in my game for the next gen. We're not there yet. Can you tell which generation I'm super excited for? Um, gen 2. Okay, are you done? Come home. Oh dear. I am so bad at this. Uh, no, I don't want to learn about the importance of memories because she'll eat at a restaurant five times and it's still important memory. Why do you need to pee again? Can you not go to the bathroom? What in the world? I thought you just went. Dude, does she just have like a really bad bladder or something? I was like, what in the world? Why is she peeing so much? Why is she peeing so much? All right, so she's going to go to bed. First day, hectic. Hectic, hectic, hectic. And why are you guys still in my house? Please leave. Hey! 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 Those don't exist, mister! <laughs> nope. Okay. Get up and take a bath. And then I guess we'll go to the grocery store today to get some stuff to make groceries. Food. 
basically we're just going to this cafe because it's supposedly the hot spot. So, hot spot, there's two Sims here. Miss Rita and Mark. Oh, there's four. Frank and Judy. I need friends. You guys are busy flirting and getting on. Audrey! Hello, Miss Audrey! How are you doing? Why? Why would you date her? Is it because she shows off? Huh? Huh, Mark? Is that why? Okay. Ooh! What? This dude is really in the shorts over here. He's not very attractive, though. Uh, it's looking like that old man. It's literally part one, Madison. <laughs> it's looking like that old man is who we're going to have to go for. Um, did you know Frank has a guitar skill? I did not, but his wife Judy certainly does, so it wouldn't be hard to imagine the two. Okay. Bye, Audrey. Bye-bye. Ooh. Hey. Hey. What in the world? The Why are you doing that? Why is it like, no? Okay. Go collect that. I'll stay on the slot, apparently. Um, May. Ooh. Ooh. Who is this? This is Bonnie. Okay. Bonnie, Bonnie, Bonnie. They all have the same hair, but that's fine with me. Bonnie, Virginia. We're just going to start a whole little girls club. That's what we're going to do. We're going to start a whole new girls club. It's going to be a blast. Also, we need to have a man, though, uh, to have children. And also, we have to have a man because it's the 1920s, and that's what was expected of women. Okay. Listen. I'm just saying. Where did she go? Oh, she's right there. Okay, this must be the female hot spot because I don't see a single man here. Not a single, single one of them is here. <gasps> Speak of them and they will appear. Mr. Thomas. Tommy, 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 Tommy. Listen. <laughs> and there's corn, corn sort, consort, consort. Sure, I don't know. Let's go meet this man, Tommy. <gasps> Ooh! Yes, Thomas. Thomas. You're not the hottest sim, but like, you're also kind of old, but. Don't matter. It doesn't matter for Abitha, that's for sure. Oh, and he thinks we're hot too. Dang! Listen here, Miss Abitha. You are just grabbing all of them men by the throats, aren't you? Have you heard that Nomura is absent-minded? <laughs> Nomura? <laughs> Oops, our phone is ringing. Well, who? Oh shoot, we don't have a phone. <laughs> Whoopsie daisies, a phone settings silence the phone. We don't got one. We don't got one. I was like, who could be calling us in the 1920s on a phone that doesn't exist? <sighs> All right, so we're gonna go home. And, um, yeah. Somebody's expecting a baby. Great. Consort just had a kid? I feel so betrayed! Consort. Thomas it is then. Thomas, don't be married. But that's the thing, though. If you have NRAS, they just become friends with Janeth. I thought we were friends with Janeth. Crap, didn't mean to do that. Hold on. A district, a dispute? At the tap house? Oh my god, dude! You got three kids! Whew! My man. But they just had an argument. Ooh! <laughs> ah, I'm having a lot of fun. Even though nothing's really happened, I'm having a blast. Tomorrow's when we're going to have a party because it just makes sense. Uh, let's go do some stuff. Like, get a job. Um, here. Um, self-employed painter. It's not really like, like self-employed didn't really exist. Like, big thing um, in the 1920s. But, well, I like to have them have self-employed jobs just to track how much we've made. No. Thomas! How dare you betray me, too! They just started dating, though, so. It's okay. We can act like it doesn't exist. Boom! You're a painter. 
Um, first of all, can I just show you guys how beautiful this is? This is the graveyard in this world. Please, if I die, I will be gladly buried here. This is such a beautiful burial ground. I love it. I love it. Um, and we're going to have to ignore the fact that they're taking taxis. Like, okay. She's using taxi a lot and not really losing any money, so... Sir, sure. Go make some waffles. And then we, th I, we think we should paint. No. No. Alrighty. She's going to make some breakfast because she's hungry. Great. She just burnt her food. Good job, Abatha. Eat it. Eat it. We don't put our hard-earned groceries away. We keep them even if they burnt. And then let's practice painting since we simply haven't done that yet. And that's how we're supposed to earn our money. Until we get a man in the house. And we'll use him. Okay, I just turned on Risky Woohoo. I mean, we don't actually have a sim we can Risky Woohoo with. So I don't actually know if it works or not. But... I also turned on Autonomous Risky Woohoo. Because I thought that would be a fun thing to have in the game. Um, have you heard that Fred Young spent all the money and is totally broke now? You know what? That's what's going to be with our family. I don't know who's speaking here, but I appreciate the catch up. Come on, come on, come on. Level 3. Good for you, Abatha. Mm. Maybe eventually you'll make something that's actually houseworthy. I don't know. That isn't houseworthy. Grab a plate, and then, uh, oh, we already lost one of our friendships. We're distant friends now. She's going to eat, and then she's going to go up to bed. All right, guys. So, that is going to be the end of this first episode in this legacy. I'm sorry if it wasn't super entertaining. I mean, I haven't filmed a Sims video, a Sims Let's Play video, I should say, in such a long time that I'm not exactly the best at it. But I'm having such a fun time, and my game literally saved in, like, less than a minute. <laughs> Eli, you're so good to me! Anyway, um, so yeah, thanks for watching this uh, video. The link to the plum tree that only has my one sim on there is linked in the description box, along with uh, the challenge rules. And I also have put the challenge rules in the description box, like rule by rule, so we can like scratch them off as we do such things. And yeah, I'll see you guys next episode in this challenge. I'm sorry if we go a little bit fast this challenge. I just, I don't know what, I mean, like I'm having fun. I hope you guys are having fun. I hope my uh, excited personality makes you excited as well. So thanks for watching. I hope to see you guys all next time for another episode. And hey, don't forget, I'm still a freaking bulldozer. Oh my God, it has been such a long time since I said that. Bye everyone. Thank you.